Hey, hey, so I just came back from work and I thought I would share some thoughts, some experiences and some things that I noticed because since I'm doing this apprenticeship, I can feel this force of trade and how it influences me and my behavior. We play this trade game, we're living in this trade system where I have to do this in order to get that. You give me this, I give you that. And that doesn't make sense in the 21st century anymore because we can automate pretty much everything and we have an abundance of pretty much everything already. We have more food than people can eat. We have more gadgets than people can use. We have more clothes than people can wear. But so many people don't have access to it because they don't have enough money or they don't have yeah enough resources because we are playing this fucking game that doesn't make sense anymore and yeah the tricky thing now is that if you're working in that trade system if you work if you're playing the the trade game then you of course you get a reward for that you get money right i get my monthly salary because i'm doing this apprenticeship and then I might be inclined to think and say, well, you know, I get my monthly salary, I can buy chocolate, I can buy new clothes, I can um, buy a new bike or I can travel to Berlin or wherever. And then I might be like, okay, I'm not too bad anymore. I can afford stuff and I can do what I want. So I'm not going to give a shit about the world anymore. And that's the tricky thing. Because what about all these people who are suffering because of this trade system? What about all these people who don't have enough food, who don't have access to healthcare or clean water? What about all the plastic pollution in the oceans? What about air pollution that kills millions of people every year? What about climate change and social inequality where 1% of all people on this planet have more than the other 99%? What about that? You're not caring about that anymore. And this is the, the tricky thing of this system that we, this fucked up game that we play. Because it makes you ignorant about the problems in the world. And <laughs> I can feel it myself, you know. I'm, I'm going to work every day in the morning and then I come back in the evening, I cook some food and on the weekends I'm gonna go out, I get my monthly salary, I can save some money, so well, I'm not doing bad at all, so why should I care? And this is something everybody has to experience or to learn for themselves. Because even if you're the most humble person, if you're the kindest person in the world, um, that doesn't help anyone if we don't tackle this trade system. Because that reinforces ignorant behavior. For example, we had now a three weeks introduction course in our department at SAP in Dresden. And there are so many nice people. They are so friendly. They are so kind to you they help you with whatever you need they um, explain you everything you need to know and um, yeah i was asking them what about or i was not talking to everybody yet but i was talking to one of them or maybe two and just yeah what do you how do you think about the world what do you do about climate change or have you noticed that maybe we have some problems as humanity and then it was like, well, yeah, kind of, but what can I do? I, I'm just doing my job here. I'm, I'm not, uh, well, <laughs> like, it was al always like, um, so what should I do about that? And <laughs> this, is, this is the tricky thing, because if we keep being in that deep sleep, in that kind of state of ignorance, then we're gonna be fucked because it's not like what happens in one part in the world is not gonna affect me what happens in china doesn't bother me or what happens in south america or in africa doesn't affect me if i think like this then that's we are not gonna we are gonna be fucked because of course we are all human beings on this planet we all share the same planet we share the same we breathe the same air we all drink water Okay, some water is more polluted than other water. We all need to e eat food and we all need to take care of this planet because otherwise we will have more and more problems 
that we cannot solve. So yes, Greta Thunberg is right that the planet is on fire, that we are in uh, many crises. But where are these crises coming from? Where are these problems coming from? And this is this trade problem, this trade system that we play. And this is what I want you to understand. We all can feel that force of trade. We all like you have to go to work. Maybe you don't have access to a boat, but there are hundreds of boats in a port that are not being used. Maybe you would like to travel, but you're not allowed because you live in a country or you have a passport that won't allow you to go there. So we can all experience and feel that force of trade. It's just that so many people didn't recognize it yet. Or if they recognize it, then they don't do something about it because they are ignorant or not caring about the world. So why should you care? Why do I care? Well, because I traveled the world, I've seen a lot of different nature places. I care about them, I care about people, I've seen a lot of people suffering, I've watched a lot of documentaries. I've also experienced this stunningness of this huge, vast universe that we're living in. And for me, I cannot be ignorant about that. So yeah that's why i care and that's why i also try to get as much skills as possible from this apprenticeship and then yeah do something good with that like to work for an ngo for a non-governmental organization or for doctors without borders or for trump tf you know we are providing some services there and um, we can scale them up because i think that change will only come from like the internet because with the internet we are all communicating and if like huge global corporations like google and facebook and amazon are owning the the internet the main medium of communication nowadays then um, of course they have their interests they want to make profit out of that and of course that's bad so yeah that's why I'm thinking um, to do an apprenticeship in that field might be a really good idea. I could become a carpenter and maybe I will do that at one point later in my life. But for now I just feel like doing, like becoming an IT specialist. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. And I will also try to change the system within the system itself. I try to talk with other students, with other people who do an apprenticeship, maybe also with the with other people who work there at SAP and they can also feel that something is completely wrong in this world. So maybe we could collaborate and imagine if all the software engineers in this world collaborate and work on something amazing together. And that's why we have the trade free directory where we can list these things, these projects who are doing an amazing job. Um, and then hopefully we can change the world <laughs> i mean that would be fucking amazing or <laughs> yo yo so i'm just here right now at the department in dresden from sap where my apprenticeship is and we just had a video call with the other students from sap and imagine if we could all work together like all the it engineers and software developers um, from SAP, from other companies and we try to create something amazing, something that really helps people instead of tracking people or collect yeah, their data or putting ads and stuff like that. Um, so that's my plan. I will try to get skills in this apprenticeship from SAP and then use them for something good for either an NGO or for Trom.tf services. So I'll keep you updated. I'm in the trade system here <laughs> right now and um, yeah, I will use these skills for something good. I, I promise that to you. All right, that's it. <laughs> So um, yeah, that's, these are my thoughts um, that I have right now and of course I'm also enjoying my life. Yesterday I watched a documentary from Video Need about the, um, an octopus, I think it's called the octopus in my house or in my home or something like that. I will put the link in the video description. And I'm also going like outside in nature with a bike or like um, for a hike or whatever. 
and I try to also go um, snowboarding this winter but let's see about Covid I think that's um, gonna be tricky I think in Austria everything is in lockdown right now so I just have to see and I will continue my series about the money game and beyond book because I think it's crucial it's very very important and there are some great ideas in that book and if you just watch this right now and you think about oh yeah we are so fucked the world is so fucked people are so ignorant, um, things are not gonna change, then I can just encourage you and say, well, I think the same, but I also think like we really can make a difference. Even if it is just for ourselves, for our feeling or, or whatever, um, I would say just do whatever you like to do and just have a great time on this planet because yeah, you have one life, you have one shot and you just gotta enjoy that. All right, that was it from here. And yeah, we are also like, if you're in the US or if you're in South America or in Africa, then, and you are also fighting against this trade enemy that we have, then we are colleagues, we are, we are teammates, we are working together, we are collaborating. And I think just to think about that some people are out there who are fighting this trade enemy, that makes me feel like yeah fuck it's worth the fight and yeah maybe we will meet more and more people who who are fighting this trade enemy all right that was it from here have a great one and see you in the next video that was it much love <laughs>